Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Twill and in this video I'll be coding, I'll be showing you how to code in Python of course, a short script to always refresh the screen. Okay? So as you can see, this is my desktop computer, the one I use for most of my videos. The icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do and what I type. So this is my channel, my IT workshop. Please li like and subscribe. And if you scroll down, I have I haven't done a Python video in a long time, really, really in a long time. So if you're interested in automation and all that, I'm going to leave. You can click in the top right of this screen for the for the playlist. Okay. So what we're going to do is, like I said, uh, um, a short script in Python that refresh the screen all the time instead of us actually doing it. For example, when you right click on Windows. This is Windows 10, by the way, but this works for Windows 8, Windows 7. If you click refresh, kind of the icons disappear for a few seconds because you are refreshing the, the screen, right? Again, refresh. So I'm going, we are going to automate doing this. So we don't actually have to do it. So why are we doing this, right? When I can right click and I can do it, or I can press um, F5 in my keyboard anytime I want and it's going to do it. So this is the scenario I have. So the company, the place, the company where I work, have uh, well, have many laptops, but this specific laptop that is connected to a big monitor, to a big TV, has to show documents. It's a spreadsheet that has to be showing all the time, but there is a policy company on which um, the computers, after 30 minutes or 20 minutes, they go to sleep. And if they don't go to sleep after a um, um, period of time, they're going to log out. Okay, so you have to log in again and all that. And that's understandable. That's because of security reasons and all that. I totally understand. However, in this case, this is something that has to be done. So this spreadsheet shows information that refresh from the internet every, I don't know, one minute, two minutes, something like that. I don't really know because that's something I don't really use, but it's something they need to use. The point is that we need to fix this and nobody can be, uh, you know, refreshing or removing the mouse every, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Uh, the first thing I try was to go to YouTube and start playing these videos uh, 10 hours uh, of nothing constantly. So, and I loop the video and it's going to show all the time, right? But that has to be running in the back and it's consuming resources. Even though you uh, you configure the video to be um, 144, um, you know, the resolution, the lowest resolution, but it still is consuming bandwidth. And if you close that, if you close the, the video, uh, everything goes back to normal. You're going to be kicked out or the computer is going to go to sleep. So that's something well, that is not really reliable. So. That's why we are going to do this short script. Uh, now I'm going to do it, like I said, in Python. So this is my, um, the, this is the software to do software. <laughs> this is the one I downloaded from python.org. And now we're going to start, it's very short by the way. So import, we're going to start importing something. Import a library, keyboard, keyboard. And then we're going to import uh, time. So we're importing these libraries, uh, keyboard and time. So for keyboard, it's an external library. You can check it out here in pypi or pypy.org. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you want to check it. But this library, it's technically, that's what it does. Uh, it simulates the pressing of keys on the keyboard, of course. So there are a few commands. Uh, the one we're going to use is press and release. So uh, there are a few commands. It's very straightforward. Very, I mean, I mean, it simulates the pressing of keys. <laughs> okay. So again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So this library, by default, is not installed on. Win uh, on it doesn't come with Windows or with um, uh, with the Python IDE, the one I'm using right now. So you have to install it. So I have to open a CMD. And I'm going to type, I already have installed it, but I'm going to show you. So, and I have to type pip3 install minus u keyboard. So, uh, 
pip3, I believe you can do it without the 3, install minus u keyboard. This is the name of the library. Uh, let's see what happens. I already have it installed, but let's see what happens. Chan. And it says, da da da. Uh, your, uh, well, this is uh, that's an important okay requirement already up to date. So that means I already have it. Okay, so if you don't have it, you're going to see it's going to take less than five seconds, but you're going to see more, more lines of code say, saying that it has been installed. So after you do that, you don't need this anymore, and then we can continue. Uh, time is like it says is to stop a, um, a process or after a few seconds. So while true so this is an infinite loop because we want it to run we want the, we want this script to run all the time so i'm going to call the library keyboard that press and release and now we're going to type what key we want to simulate the pressing so it's f5 and i want this to happen every now and then so in the laptop I was I showed you a few seconds ago, I did it uh, to run this script um, every, I believe, 10, 10 minutes. Okay, but here we're not going to do that. I'm going to do it every five seconds. Okay, so I'm going to save it and we're going to run. Run module if we don't have any errors. And you're going to see this uh, save before run on check. I'm not going to press it or anything. And I'm going to press over here on the Windows part. So now every five seconds you have seen it is going to run. So every five seconds is going to simulate the pressing of the refresh key all the time, all the time. So as you can see, it's doing that. And if I click over here, it's going to be console. OK, so we, we, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to, well, we have to cancel it because this is too big. But let's make it a little smaller. Yeah, I'm going to close it. You want to kill the process? Yes, I want to enter the process. So let's say you have um, one of these guys. You have uh, one of these is running. And I'm going to show you with a website in a few more seconds. But let's run it one more time. So I'm going to run it, run, run module. And I don't want to save it. So it's going to be like that all the time as you can see it's running I'm going to close it let's make it smaller and smaller like this we're not going to close it now so we're going to run it one more time and now it's running so this is a txt document and every time i'm not doing this and every time every five seconds is going to print to this so this is the time and date <laughs> it's doing it all the time so maybe you don't want to do it on a, um on a txt file but if i click here it's going to continue doing it on windows every five seconds is going to refresh as you can see there so i'm going to put this down and this is a spreadsheet which is the case that i needed for i, I needed a um the refresh every five seconds. So when you leave it like this, when you press F5 in a spreadsheet, I didn't know this, it's going to open this. I know what it is, is to look for something. So I'm going to close it. And if you want to refresh, you have to come to the part of Windows, to the task taskbar and leave it there. So it's going to be refreshing, so nothing happens. So I'm going to close this because I, uh, I don't need it anymore. So it's doing that all the time. So I'm going to go to a website now, let's say YouTube, and this is going to refresh, refresh every five seconds, as you can see there. It's refreshing every five seconds. So it's refreshing again <laughs> all the time. So maybe on a website, it's not a good idea. So now I'm going to stop it. Uh, now I don't want to save it and cancel i'm going to click kill the process so maybe this is too much you have to if you want to put it on that laptop you have to install uh, python you have to install the library and all that and that's kind of a problem so what we can do i have done it in other videos is make a executable file so i have called it the same as the uh, script we're running refresh refresh i'm going to close this because we don't need it anymore and i'm going to double click on it so this is an executable file for Python and it's running now. The only thing is that it opens this screen all the time. 
So if you close it, the software is going to be closed. But there is nothing like a message or something that we have that we have to see. And it's not that annoying if you want. So I'm going to put this down and you can be running it all the time, as you can see here. So when you are done, you just click here and it's done. And you can copy this. This is an executable file. So if you want to do that, I have done a video in the past. It's over here. It's called, oh, where, are the, where are the videos? I scroll down and it's this one. Code your first GUI using TK Inter. So if you go click on this video, I'm going to leave it in the video description below. If you go to minute 640, it's going to show you how to turn a script in Python into an executable file for Windows. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to create um, uh, a refresh, how to automatic refresh script for Python so you can refresh all the time to avoid being kicked out or logged off from a Windows computer. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.